What's up guys, it's MA Fish Guy. Um, got a viewer request today on what to feed the uh, zoanthids. Uh, these guys are pretty easy to care for. Uh, I have quite a few in my tank. I got my star pops there, but right behind them. I got a couple different zoanthids. Um, fried on a couple different rocks so they can spread out. Um, a lot of people wonder what to feed these guys. Uh, a lot of times, if you're not looking for optimum growth, uh, which pretty much everybody is, if you're just looking for something easy to take care of, these guys are great. Uh, they really don't require a whole lot of care. Uh, you pretty much, you know, provide some good lighting, some good filtration, and you'll pretty much get some healthy zoas. Um, but for these guys, there's a couple different ways to feed them. Um, I have heard of a couple different methods, including um, using pellets, like a marine uh, pellet, uh, any kind of saltwater pellet, and you basically place them on top. Um, so you place them like right in the middle of the cluster, and they'll actually eat off of it. Uh, I don't do this myself. Uh, me personally, I take frozen food, uh, put it in a container, take some, a syringe, and actually squirt it into the cluster themselves. Uh, this way they get the optimum amount of food that they need and require uh, and I don't have to worry about the pellet dissolving uh, and polluting the tank up, uh, raising the nitrates, nitrites, all that fun stuff. Uh, another thing is if you do the pellets, uh, a lot of times the fish will realize that they can get a free meal or an easy meal right off the zoanthids and they'll actually pick at them until uh, they close up and that's not too pleasing looking in an aquarium with a bunch of closed zoas. Uh, another method uh, that people do are the uh, Cyclop Easies, uh, I call them. Uh, people call them different things. Uh, basically, it's there's a couple different ways, but what I get is a wafer that goes into the water that you stir up. Uh, and you basically take a syringe, suck out some of the water, and then squirt it directly into it. I'll have a video coming up uh, once I get the food prepared on exactly how to feed these. Uh, with what they call target feeding uh, and like I said that's when you take the syringe and put it in uh, right next to them and kind of squirt them with the food. Uh, like I said these guys really don't require any specialty lighting. Uh, I have mine on a compact, compact fluorescence. Uh, I have 20 to 25 watts I think it is on the 7 gallon um, but with the 7 gallon I roughly have 15 pounds of live rock in it so the water level is going to be a lot lower plus them being a lot closer to the surface uh, they definitely get the required sun uh, light. I also have this blue light uh, mainly just to show off the colors uh, if you turn on the regular light, the regular comp compact fluorescent they're just going to turn like a regular brown uh, nothing too pleasing to look at um, so if you have any questions, comments, um, subscribe to my channel above. Uh, if you have any recommendations and any special ways that you feed yours, uh, as you can see my black and white striped damsel keeps jutting in front of the camera. Um, there he goes again. If you have any other ways that you feed them, uh, comment below and I will put them on the next video and look forward to your comments. Thanks.